Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. Oh, very nice. <laughs> ready you? for the class. I'm very well, thank you. Ready for today. It's my yes. <laughs> very good. Well, I see some other people connected, okay. but the, their cameras are off. So I oh. think they are getting ready. Creo que se están alistando. I think they are getting ready. <laughs> Hi, Javier. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Um, very good. And you? I'm very well. Thank you very much for asking. Okay. Yeah. Hi, Maho. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How do you feel today? Better? Mejor? Better? Yes, teacher. Somehow. Hey, excellent. Very good. Welcome again. Bienvenida. Nuevamente. Welcome again. Hi, Ella Nielsen. Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm very well. How about you? Ah, good. Uh, we just, uh, we, sorry, we have a uh, getting hot today. Oh, really? Yeah, it's worse. Every time is worse. But it's crazy, right? Crazy and crazier. Yeah. Oh my yeah, goodness. But it is what it is, right? That's right. That's right. Hello, Santos. Yeah. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How's it going? I'm good. And you? Nice. I'm very well. Thank you very much for asking. Okay. Hi, Doris. Hi, teacher. How are you? Good. Good. Nice. Welcome again. Bienvenida. Welcome. Thank you, Thank you teacher. Look sleepy. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, my, my first day, uh, my first day back to work after 28 days away. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, that's a lot. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. I, I I I got a job like this. I got a job uh, like this. <laughs> crazy. I I remember a long time ago. I I worked from Monday to Sunday. It was crazy. Believe me, it was crazy. And giving classes all week. <laughs> it's hard, but sometimes. Yeah. Uh, we can do anything, right? We just have to deal with it. Solo tenemos que lidiar con eso. We just have to deal with it. <laughs> no solution, right? Yeah, it okay. is what it is. I That's right. Good. That's right. Okay, let me see if I have more people. Yeah, we have. Hi, Elsie. You're being hello. Hi, teacher. Hello, how are you? Good evening. Fine, thank you, how are you? I'm very well. Thank you very much for asking, ready for today. Okay, teacher. Just let me, let me read some messages here. De solo déjenme leer algunos mensajes aquí que mandaron algunos, que no van a estar, creo, solo van a ser de oyentes, I think. All right. Okay, let me read some uh, messages here in the chat. All right, Milton, no problem. I read your uh, your text, your message. Okay, uh, well, um, so everybody, I want to say welcome again. Bienvenidos nuevamente, welcome again. Um, Thursday, right? Tomorrow we finish uh, the module. Mañana terminamos módulo, tomorrow we finish the module. So basically this is over, okay? Prácticamente es, 
este módulo ya se terminó. It's basically over. Only today and tomorrow, and we finish it, okay? Just remember that tomorrow you can't be missing. Mañana sí no me puede faltar nadie porque tenemos la encuesta, okay? We have the survey. So please don't be missing. No podemos faltar mañana. We can't be missing tomorrow. Okay, so welcome again. Bienvenidos nuevamente. Welcome again. And let's start uh, today's class. So let me pass the attendance. Aida? Claudia? Daniel? Present teacher. Teacher? Yeah. Voy a estar de oyente. No me siento muy bien. De salud. Okay, okay. Thank you for informing. Doris? Gracias. Present. Elenison? Present teacher. All right, Elsie? Present teacher. Irma? Irving? Present teacher. Okay, Irma? Present teacher. All right. Javier? Present teacher. All right. Mayra? Present teacher. Milton is uh, in a meeting. Rafael? Santos? I am here, teacher. Very good. Sara? Ulises? He said he's going to be listening, I guess. But he's not connected, right? Walter? Present. Wendy? We, uh, let me see, uh, Jessica? Hey, teacher. All right. Hazel? Mauricio? Ajo? And Carla? What happened with Majo? She was connected. All right, Carla. Thank you. You working, Carla? In the bus? Ah, okay. Okay. No problem. It's okay. Okay. Uh, so let's start uh, the class then. And just to be, before we start the class, um, I remember uh, yesterday uh, we studied um, some vocabulary to give directions. Yes. You remember we started some vocabulary to give directions. Yes, like for example, uh, we started next to, we started uh, in front of. Any other preposition we studied? ¿Qué otra preposición estudiamos? Teacher, teacher, excuse me. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, it's okay. Me, me sacó de la clase, pero aquí estoy otra vez y ya mencionó mi nombre, creo. Yes, I put the attendance because I know you were connected. Ya, ya le puse asistencia porque sé que estaba conectada. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. Don't worry. So, uh, I, let me repeat. So, yesterday we started uh, vocabulary to give directions, like next to, in front. What else? ¿Qué más? Next to, in to front. The, Sorry? To the right. To the right. To the left. Okay, turn right, turn left. What around else? Around the corner. Around the corner. What else? Between. Between. Okay, between the bank and the post office, for example, or between the bank and the restaurant. Between. Good. Down. What else? Down the street. Sorry? Down the street. Down the street. That's correct. Al bajar la calle, right? Down the street. What else? Come on. Across the street. Exactly. Across the street. Is al cruzar la calle, right? Across the street. For example, the restaurant is across the street. Uh, what else, Walter? Go straight. Mm, go straight. Go straight. And I remember Javier de si how Javier was saying, dale recto. Okay, go straight. Dale recto. Dale recto. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. It's like, be derecho, right? Dale, but we say, dale recto, all right? So go straight. Good. Uh, what else? Walk down the street. Exactly. Walk down the street. Camina hacia abajo en la calle. En esta calle. Walk down the street. What else? What else? Go on for two blocks. Exactly. Go on for two blocks. It's like continue two blocks. Continua dos cuadras. Okay. Go on for two blocks. Very good. Uh, what else? 
Take the first. Uh, take just Walter and then Mayra. Walter and then Mayra. Walter. Take, take the first left or right. Ah, exactly. Take the first right. Toma la primera derecha or take the first left. Toma la primera izquierda. All right. Very good. Thank you, Walter. Mayra. Go past. Mm. For example, you can say go past the bank. Pasa el banco. Okay, igual well, pasar el banco. Go past the bank. All right. Good. That's excellent. Thank you, Mayra. What else? Only that? I remember on the left and on the right. It's on the left. It's on the right. Está a la derecha. It's on the right. Está a la izquierda. It's on the left. Okay? So we had that vocabulary too. All right? Good. Uh, so do we have more vocabulary? Tenemos más vocabulario? Do we have more vocabulary? No, right. I think that was it. All right. Uh, so basically, here we have the vocabulary. Okay? Here we have the prepositions uh, next to, all right, indicating next to, or of course, uh, in front of, all right, uh, we had between, okay, in medio de, we said, across the street is like al cruzar la calle, all right, we had around the corner, okay, which is like a la vuelta de la esquina, on the right, which is a la derecha, on the left, a la izquierda, and down the street, okay, down the street, Al bajar la calle, o baja la calle, okay? O al bajar la calle, it's down the street, está al bajar la calle, okay? Very good, so these are prepositions, right? Good, but we also studied uh, some other vocabulary. Pero también estudiamos otro vocabulario, parte de las preposiciones. Give me a minute, let me show you here. So we also studied um, this vocabulary here. This vocabulary, okay? We also studied this vocabulary, okay? Uh, go straight. Uh, that, that is dale recto, said Javier, right? Go straight, go past, pasa, turn left, ir a la izquierda, turn right, ir a la derecha, go up the street, ve hacia arriba en la calle, go down the street, ve hacia abajo en la calle, walk down the street, camina hacia abajo, go on for two blocks, continúa por dos bloques, and take the first left and take the first right, okay? Toma la primera izquierda, take the first right, toma la primera derecha, all right? So these are imperatives, right? When we, when, we give, when we give directions, we don't use uh, subjects, okay? Cuando damos direcciones, no usamos sujetos. Así que eso se convierte en un imperative, okay? Un imperativo, because we use no subjects. No le vamos a decir, you go straight, or you go up, or you walk down. No, I say directly, go straight, go past, all right? No subject is needed. El sujeto no se necesita, okay? Ya se sabe, ok? Very good. And we had a conversation, right? Y te, teníamos una conversación. We had a conversation too. This is a conversation, ok? Good morning. Could you give me directions to the nearest? Could you give me direction to the nearest? And then you set the place, ok? Very good. Let's review a little bit. Repasemos un poquito. Let's review a little bit. All right. Let me see. If you have the answer, Please help me, all right? If you have the answer, please help me. You are here. Estamos acá. You are here. All right? That's the departing point. Es el punto de partida. That's the, the departing point. Uh, could you give me directions uh, to the nearest cafe? Could you give me directions to the nearest cafe? Okay. Go straight. Oh, all right, all right. Go straight, yeah. Uh, turn right. But how many blocks? One or two blocks? Uh, go straight, one or two blocks? Uh, one block. Okay, go straight, one block. And then? And turn right. Turn right, yeah, and then? Uh, uh, you can say go on um, for one block, okay? Go on for one block. Okay, sigue una cuadra. Go on for one, o continúa una por una cuadra. Go on for one block. And then, y luego, and then? Turn right. Turn right. Okay, turn right. And then? The, you can say, and the cafe, the cafe is in front of, 
the underground station, all right? I guess, yeah. Good, let me erase this. Another direction, I need another direction. Uh, could you give me directions to the nearest hospital? Could you give me directions to the nearest hospital? Help me, please. What was the answer, teacher? Sorry. Could you give me directions to the nearest hospital? Me podrías dar direcciones para el hospital más cercano? Yes, uh, Elenisa. Okay, I'm going to suppose that uh, the X point, point it's uh, down the street. All right. Ahead, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, down the street, two blocks. Okay. Uh, I think and we better say go up because it's like up, right? Go up the street. You better say go up. Let's okay, say go okay. up. Perfect. Okay. Go up the street. Okay. Go up, go up the street, two blocks. For two blocks, and, and then, then? Okay, then turn left. Turn left. And go on till the end of the street. Yeah, the go to the end of the street. Front of, the hospital is in, the, is in front of cinema. The cinema, excellent. The, okay, turn left. Go to the end of the street and the hospital is in front of the cinema. Excellent. Thank you very much, Ellen Let's see, let's see, let's see another one. Um, could you give me directions to the nearest supermarket? Could you give me directions to the nearest supermarket? Remember, I am here. Okay. Aquí estamos, ¿verdad? You are here. You are here. So, sería, sería go, go up teacher porque siga recto, ¿verdad? Yeah, that's right. Go, go up and, and uh, two blocks. Go up the street, two blocks. And in front of police station. Excellent. Uh, the supermarket is in front of the police station. Okay, excellent. Or you can say the supermarket is on the right. Solo eso se puede decir, está a la derecha. The supermarket is on the right, okay? Thank you, Maho, but it's okay to say in front of the supermarket, in front of the police station too, okay? Thank you, Maho. Okay, let's see another one. Uh, could you give me directions to the nearest factory? To the nearest factory. Anybody, alguien, anybody? The nearest factory. They go on for one block. Go on for one block, exactly. And then, y luego, and then what? Uh, turn right. Turn right, yes. And turn right. Go straight, you can say go straight. Uh, the go straight. Go straight. Turn right. Mm -hmm. Gira a la derecha. No, 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 no. no vamos a girar. No, okay. no, no. Es, es, uh, the next say? you, the museum. The museum factory. Okay, the factory is next to the museum. The next to? Okay. Is next to the museum. Excellent. Or you can say the factory is on the right. Está en la, a la derecha. The factory is on the right. Okay. Thank you very much. Two more. Dos más. Two more. Uh, could you give me directions uh, to the um, nearest bus station? Could you give me directions to the nearest bus station? Go, go straight. Go straight. Two blocks. Two blocks. And then? Y luego, two, and then? Two right. Turn two, right. Two, two right. One or two blocks? Um, two blocks. Okay. Then you can say go straight. Uh, go on for two blocks. Yes? Yeah. 
is uh, from bus station is from Italia restaurant. Excellent. So the bus station is in front of the Italian restaurant. Excellent. Very good. The last one, la ultima, the last one. Uh, could you give me directions uh, to the nearest cinema? Okay, Mayra. Uh, go straight for two block. Yeah, and, and then? Turn, turn on the left. Turn left. And go, go and, on. Go on and the, the street. Okay. And the cinema is in front of the hospital. Excellent. You can say go straight, okay? Go straight and the cinema is in front of the hospital. Dale recto, okay? Go straight. And the cinema is in front of the hospital, okay? Okay, thank you very much. Oh, okay, very good. The, the, this was just to remember a little bit, okay? Esto suela, solo era para recordar un poquito. It was just to remember a little bit about the topic. I said, right? Uh, now that you understand the topic, practice. Practice and practice. You can practice alone, all right? Pueden practicar solo si quieren. Tienen el mapa, you have the map, all right? Good. Uh, so let's go to uh, today's uh, content. And in today's, or today, we are going to study uh, some important things like the verb go by, uh, the verb get, all right? The verb go, the differences. But to start, pero para empezar, but to start, we have uh, some discussion questions, okay? We always have discussion questions. So let me share with you. Le voy a compartir. Let me share with you. And the discussion questions are the following. So question number one is, can you name five means of transportation? Can you name five means of transportation? What is means of transportation? What is means of transportation? What is that? Okay, Jesus, what is that? Medios de transporte. Medios de transporte. So please mention five means of transportation. You can say, for example, car, bicycle, uh, train, wagon. I don't know, all right? Horse. Do you prefer to drive or to go around by bus or taxi when you travel? Okay, so prefieres manejar? O conducirte en taxi o en bus cuando viajas. So what do you prefer? You can say in the answer, I prefer to go around by taxi, for example. Or I prefer to go around by bus when I travel. You can say, why? Oh, because it's safer. I don't know. You can say, I prefer to go around by taxi because it's uh, safer or it's more secure. Es más seguro. Podría ser. I don't know. So please take a moment and answer the two questions, please. It's personal, right? So this is personal. Go around is like similar to say ir a, ir a lugares, okay? ¿Prefieres manejar? Do you prefer to drive or to go around by, by taxi? O conducirte en taxi? O ir a lugares en taxi, you can say even, okay? Go around by bus or taxi when you travel. And why? So write the reason. Escriban la razón por qué prefieren taxi o bus.
one more minute, okay? So in the first question, you only need to mention five means of transportation, okay? It can be bus, car, bicycle, motorcycle, I don't know, all right? In question number two, do you prefer to drive or to go around by bus or taxi when you travel and why? If you ask me, I can say, I prefer to go around by bus when I travel because it's safer or because it's more secure or because uh, it's cheaper. It's más barato because it's cheaper, you can say, because it's cheaper. Okay, in one minute, we start the discussion. Teacher, excuse me. Tell me, Mayra. Um, comfortable in English, it is a constable. Yes, that's right. Uh, thank you. You write it comfortable, but you pronounce it comfortable, all right? Constable. Comfortable. Comfortable. Uh -huh. comfortable. Okay, comfortable. Thank you. All right, no problem. Some people say comfortable, and it's okay too, but it's not common. The most common is comfortable. Comfortable. Es que parece trabalenguas. Algunas <laughs> palabras. <laughs> English is like that. Hay que poner hasta la lengua así enrollada para poder decir las palabras. <laughs> yeah. When you study the language in detail, you realize that it's complex. Cuando se estudia en detalle el idioma, los sonidos reales, se mira que los sonidos, aunque uno los haga, ya viendo la descripción real, son bastante complejos. Aunque a uno le salen, ¿ok? But it's complex. Yeah. Uh, these questions are on page number 45, ¿ok? Page number 45. There you can see these questions. Okay, uh, the pronunciation for the questions is, question number one, can you name five means of transportation? Can you name five means of transportation? Number two, do you prefer to drive or to go around by bus, taxi when you travel? Why? Do you prefer to drive or to go around by bus, taxi when you travel? Why? All right, so that's the pronunciation for that. Questions. The questions are on page number 45. Okay. So this time you are not going to practice in pairs. You are going to answer the questions here in the class. Okay. So who is ready? ¿Quién está listo? Who is ready? Who is ready? Ready. Okay. Majo is ready. Okay. Majo. Let's start with Majo then. Uh, Majo. Ready. Um, all right. Maho, can you name five means of transportation? I prefer taxi. Uh, it's question one, Maho. Oh, excuse me, excuse me. Repeat yeah. Me. Can you name five means of transportation? Mm, Uber. Uber, yeah. Bus station. Yeah, the bus, Uber, bus. Taxi. Bus, taxi, uh, taxi, yeah. Taxi, you have three? Uh, horse. <laughs> Sorry? The horse, yeah, the horse. Horse. In the countryside, the what else? Motorcycle. Motorcycle, five, okay, thank you. Question number two. Do you prefer to drive or to go around by bus taxi when you travel? I prefer taxi. Why? I prefer Uber or taxi because it's more comfortable, comfortable and fast. And That's fast. right, and fast. The quality and the services, it is safe for security. In uh, Nuts Hill, it is more relaxed. 
That's right. It's more relaxing, more secure, more comfortable. Yeah, definitely. That's right. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Maho. Thank you for your participation. Who else is ready? ¿Quién más está listo? Who else is ready? Oh, Walter, I see. Okay, Walter. And then Javier. And then Javier. Okay, Walter. Let's start with Walter. Walter, can you name five means of transportation? <clears throat> Train, plane, car, motorcycle, truck, and ship. Oh, six. That's excellent. Very good. Uh, do you prefer to drive or to go around by bus taxi when you travel? I prefer to drive. You prefer to drive. Why? Because I prefer to go at my own piece of time. That's right. So you prefer to go at your own pace, as to as to propio ritmo, right? You, to your own pace. Okay, that's excellent. Thank you, Walter. Um, let's see, Javier, and then we go with Mayra. Uh, Walter, can you ask Javier the questions, please? Uh, can you name five means of transportation? Train, hold on. Is correct? Javier, I think he's... Yes, ah, okay. Okay, cars, bus, motorcycle, Uber, a bicycle. Okay. Do you prefer to drive or to go around by bus, taxi, when you travel? Uh, I prefer to drive. Why? Because for safety and faster. Excellent. Thank you very much. That's very good. Uh, thank you, Walter. Now, Javier, please ask Maida. Okay. <laughs> Mayra. Yeah. Uh, can you name five means or of transportation? Car, bus, taxi, train, and plane. Okay. Uh, Mayra, do you prefer to drive or to go around by bus? Taxi when you travel? I prefer in car. Why? Uh, because it's much more comfortable and even more so if I uh, drive alone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Thank you. It's interesting. Okay, thank you, uh, Javier. Mayra, now you ask uh, Santos, please. Okay. Santos, can you name five means of transportation? Uh, bus, taxi, motorcycle, car, and bike. Okay. Do you prefer to drive or to go around by bus, taxi when you travel? I prefer to drive my car. Okay. Why? Uh, it's more secure for my family and, and for me. Excellent. Thank you, Excellent. Mayra. That's Thank very you. good. Excellent. Thank you, Santos. Uh, so who, uh, do we have any other volunteer? Do we have more volunteers to participate or no more volunteers? More volunteers to participate in this activity? Nobody, I think. Ah, oh, Elenilson. All right, Santos, uh, you ask Elenilson, please. Thank you, Elenilson. You're welcome. Elenilson, can you, can you name five means for transportation? Of transportation, sorry. Yeah, uh, train, plane, boat, motorcycle, and car. Do you prefer drive or to around by uh, bus, taxi when you travel? I prefer go around by bus or taxi. Why? Because 
being a passenger, it's more enjoyable. It is more relaxed. Okay. Okay. Uh, thank That's you. Thank you very much. That's interesting. Actually, in my case, I prefer to go by bus many times because it's more relaxing. I can sleep. <laughs> I can. I can yeah. rest. Um, I and you. when you drive, you don't get You don't have to get distracted, right? And when you are on the yeah, bus, it is my you, you you can get distracted. Okay. So I, in my case, that, I prefer is... bus. Okay. <laughs> yeah. That is my point. <laughs> All right, but anyways, it depends, right? It depends. Okay, uh, so do we have another volunteer or no more volunteers? No more volunteers? Okay, so let's see the last one, Irma. Ellen Nilsson, ask Irma the questions, please. Okay. Irma, can you name five means of transportation? Uh, bus, taxi, motorcycle, car, uh, Uber, avion. Okay. Plane. Okay. Plane. Perfect. Plane. Plane. Okay. Irma, do you prefer to drive or to go around by bus, taxi when you travel? I prefer to drive my car because I feel safer. Okay, perfect. Excellent. Thank That's you very much. Time. Okay, thank you, Ellen Nilsson, and thank you, uh, everybody, for your participations. Okay, for the ones who participated, thank you for your uh, participation in this activity. Okay, unfortunately, we don't have more time for more participations. Okay, uh, so please, everybody, go to reactions and give your classmates a reaction. Vamos a dar una reacción a los compañeros. Saying congratulations, right? Okay, thank you for your participation. It was excellent. Okay, thank you very much. All right, so let's go uh, quickly then to the next uh, activity, all right? And on the next activity is one activity that you really like. I know you like these activities. Um, in the next activity, we have a word search. What is word search? Do you remember? What is word search in Spanish? Word search. Word search. What is that in Spanish? La famosa sopa de letras. That's right. That's right. It's sopa de letras. Word search. Okay. So uh, for the next activity, we have a word search, and we need to look for some transportation. Okay. So this word search is on page number forty-five. Okay. So we have here. It says means of transportation. Is this word search is for vocabulary? about means of transportation. So it says, find the 10 means of transportation from the box in the word search. And we have uh, 10 means of transportation. We have train, car, plane, motorcycle, subway. What is subway? By the way, what is subway? What does it mean? Subterraneo. A subterraneo. We don't have that here, but it's subterraneo. We have the truck. Okay, el camión, the helicopter, taxi, bicycle, and ship, parco, right? Ship, all right, very good. So the idea is to look for this vocabulary in the word search. Vamos a buscar ese vocabulario en la sopa de letras, okay? Look for the vocabulary on the word search. Page number 45, página número 45, page number 45, okay? So we are going to work in a small groups for this. Vamos a trabajar en grupos pequeños para esta actividad, okay? So let's go and work in groups, please. Page 45, página 45, page 45. Okay, let's go and work in groups.
I was sending you to another group, Ulises. Eh, sí, porque estaba yo solo. Sí, ahorita, ahorita te envié al grupo 6. I just sent you to group 6. Porque vi que estaba solo. Ajá, ¿Te aparece gracias. la notificación? Eh, no, teacher. Ok, let me send you again. So I will send you to room 4 then. Ok, room 4. There you go. Ok, thanks. All right, no problem. ¿Qué dijo que era? Barco. Barco. Ah, barco. Barco. Sí. Ok. Ajá. Son 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Está truck, helicóptero. Me falta una. Bicycle. ¿Cuál? Pero no sé, no sé cuál me falta. Car. Ahorita veo. Car, pero sí, ya la tengo. Car, train. Ah, train me falta. Train. Sí, sí, Train ese me... está, está abajo de ship, de derecha a izquierda. Ah, ok. Sí. Ajá, abajo de ship, en la siguiente línea, sí. toda esa. Abajo la, de la segunda. De, de sí, derecha a izquierda. De derecha a izquierda, sí. Uh -huh. Ah, pues ya, uh -huh. ya, la, ya, ya, ya las hallamos. Uh -huh. Finish. <ríe> Por eso le digo a los compañeros estrellas. <risa> el, destino. <risa> el destino no une. I will check that you are not together next time. Ah, okay. <risa> el teacher ya nos tiene ahí en chequeado. Yes. Tiene ya. Next, next time, next time, I am going to separate you. No. <risa> I am going to break you down. Okay. <laughs> right. So you finished? Yes. Yes. All right. Yes. Okay. Perfect. So let me visit other groups to see if they finished. Okay. 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 Hey, teacher. Ajá. También está en horizontal a par en horizontal. Bicycle. Bicycle también le sigue. Y hay mucho. Está al revés, de la segunda fila, de abajo hacia arriba. Uh -huh. Y la otra cual es, eh, rack, es car. Car está al revés. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Y después car. está plane. Plane. Uh -huh. plane. Eh, taxi. No voy abajo. No voy abajo. Finish. 
<risa> Listo. Al final sí las encontramos. Cross. Your cross. <risa> <risa> you are very good at what searches. <laughs> All right, so you finished. Yeah, finished. All right, let me visit the other groups to see if they finished, okay? Okay. All right. This meeting is being recorded. Aha, la compañía. Take your skin off. Teacher, solo eso y vamos a hacer la sopa de letras. Yes, you finished. Yes. Yes. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Okay, uh, okay, everyone, uh, just before we check, okay, just before we check, before we check the word search, uh, let's take a moment, okay, to pronounce the vocabulary, okay? Let's take a moment uh, to pronounce the vocabulary or the transportation, okay? So let's repeat the words three times. Vamos a repetir tres veces cada palabra, okay? Let's repeat the word three times, but with the microphones off, con el micrófono apagado, por favor, okay? With the microphone off, please. You ready? Let's repeat. Train. 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 Car. 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 Plane. 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 Motorcycle. 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 Subway. Subway, subway, truck, 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 helicopter, helicopter, helicopter. Eta de taxi, we, we know it, right? Okay, let's continue with the next. Bicycle, bicycle. Bicycle, ship, ship, ship. Okay, uh, now please, uh, let me show you my word search, okay? Already solved. And you compare your word search with my word search, okay? So please take a moment and compare your word search with my word search, okay? Here you have, compare please. Compare, por favor, compare please. These are the answers, okay? So here we have chip, all right. Uh, this way we have, uh, okay, let me get something here. Okay, so here we have chip, right? Here we have train, all right? Here we have motorcycle to the right, helicopter to the right. Uh, then we have bicycle to the left, all right? Okay, hold on a second. Uh, then we have a uh, track going above, all right? Uh, then we have car to the left, plane to the right, taxi going above, hacia arriba, subway to the left, and basically that's it, right? So do you have it the same? ¿Lo tienen lo mismo? Do you have it the same? Yes. 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 Okay, that's perfect. Okay, you rock. Oh my goodness, that's very good. Okay, thank you very much for taking the time to complete the, uh, the puzzle, all right? Now let's go to the next activity quickly. And in the next activity, we have a, a short conversation, okay? We have a short conversation, okay? Let me, let me show it to you here. Okay, uh, the conversation is on the same page, on page number 45. It's activity number three, okay? So it's this conversation, this one. Okay, hold on a second. So it's basically this conversation, okay? Yeah? 
So take a moment and read it quickly, please. One or two minutes and read the information quickly. Lean la información rápidamente. Read the information quickly. Okay, uh, so I will give you some sentences and you say true or false, all right? I will give you some sentences and you say true or false, all right? Le voy a dar algunas oraciones. Ustedes me dicen true, verdadero, false, falso, okay? Are you ready? A speaker A is going to drive. True or false? Speaker A is going to drive. True or false? True. True or false? True says uh, Walter. And the others, y los demás? A speaker A is going to drive. Speaker A, right? Walter says true. And the others, y los demás? True or false? The both for me. <laughs> for you, it's false, all right? Oh. And for the others, it's true or false? False. Speaker A, false. right? Speaker A, things, oh, I'm going to drive. I'm going to drive. So speaker A is going to drive. It's true, all right? It's true. Okay, let's see. Uh, next sentence, siguiente oración. Next sentence. Um, the car rental is four blocks away. The car rental is four blocks down the street or four blocks away. True oh. or false? False, false. It's false, false, exactly. It's false, excellent. It's two blocks down the street, right? Next, next. Uh, the airport is not very far away. The airport is not very far away. It's false. It's false. It's false. It's false. false. It's false. false. The airport very is very far away. far away, right? Excellent, that's very good. Uh, Joe, you can go to the airport uh, by bus. You can go to the airport by bus. False. 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 You need to go by food. Taxi. taxi. By taxi. taxi. Or you can drive. You can drive. drive. That's right. Two options, right? You can go by taxi or you can drive. Right. Okay. Who needs to rent a car? Who needs to rent a car? ¿Quién necesita rentar un carro? Who needs to rent a car? Great. Speaker, speaker A, B? Is right. is speaker, speaker B or Speaker A? a. Sorry, A. Speaker A, is right. Is Speaker A, excellent. Very good, thank you very much. Now, let, uh, listen to the pronunciation carefully, please. Listen to the pronunciation carefully. Let's start. Excuse me, how can I get to the airport? Well, the airport is very far away. You can go by taxi or you can drive. Thanks. Um, I'm going to drive, but I need to rent a car. Is there a car rental near here? Sure. It's two blocks down the street. You can go there by foot. Thanks a lot. By foot. What is by foot? You can go there by foot. Uh, caminando o a pie. A pie. A pie. Okay. Uh, so the sentence is, puedes ir ahí? 
a pie o caminando. Puedes ir ahí a pie, all right? A pata, say some people, right? All right, so you can go there by foot, puedes ir a pie, right? You can go there by foot. Okay, listen to the pronunciation again, please. Listen again, escuchen nuevamente. Excuse me, how can I get to the airport? Well, the airport is very far away. You can go by taxi or you can drive. Thanks. Um, I'm going to drive, but I need to rent a car. Is there a car rental near here? Sure. It's two blocks down the street. You can go there by foot. Thanks a lot. Good. So this conversation is on page 45. La conversación está en la página 45. Si no tienen el material, le pueden hacer captura, okay? You can make a screenshot if you don't have the photocopy. Page number 45. Page number 45. Okay, so please, I will give you a short time. Okay, le voy a dar un espacio corto para que practiquen la conversación. A short time to practice the conversation. But please don't stop, all right? Please don't stop. No dejen de practicar hasta que lo saque del, de los grupos. Until I get you out. Repeat, repeat, repeat. Change roles, cambian roles. Change roles, repeat again. Repeat, repeat, and repeat, okay? We're going to do it for three minutes maximum, all right? For three minutes maximum, but, but practice, all right? Don't stop practicing. No dejen de practicar. So you will work in pairs. Vamos a hacerlo en parejas. You will work in pairs, okay? Let's go. Page 45. Página 45, page 45. Not here. This meeting is being recorded. Sure. It's two blocks down the street. You can go there by foot. Thanks, Alon. A lot. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. A lot. A lot. Thanks a lot. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Okay. You start. Javier. Okay. Excuse me, who can I get to the airport? Well, the airport is very far away. You can go by taxi or you can drive. Thanks. Oh, I'm going to drive, but I need to rent a car. Is there a car rental near here? Sure, it's to block down the street. You can go there by foot. Thanks a lot. Okay, I start. Excuse me, how can, how can I go to the, to the airport? Well, the airport is very far away. You can go with taxi or you can drive. Thanks. Oh, I am going to drive, but need to rent a car. Is there a car rent a new here? Sure. It's to block down the street. You can go there before. Is there 
a carpenter near the shop. Sure, it's two blocks down the street. You can go there by foot. Thanks a lot. Okay, three. Excuse me, how can I get to the airport? Well, the airport is very far away. You can go by taxi or you can drive. Thanks. Oh, I'm going to drive, but I need to rent a car. Is there a car rental near here? Sure. It's to block down the street. You can go there by foot. Thanks a lot. Okay. Excuse me, how can I get to the airport? Well, the airport is very far away. You can go by taxi or you can drive. Thanks. Uh, I'm going to drive, but I need to rent a car. Is there a car rental near here? Sure. It's two blocks down the street. You can go there by foot. Thanks a lot. Okay. Excuse me, how can I get to the airport? Well, the airport is very far away. You can go by taxi or you can drive. Thanks. Oh, I'm going to drive, but I need to rent a car. Is there a car rental near here? Sure. It's too blocked down that strip. You can go there by foot. Hello. Okay. Thank you, Doris. This meeting is being. Okay, we are going to listen to four pairs. All right, we are going to listen to four pairs. All right. So, first pair of volunteers, please. First pair of volunteers. Primera pareja de voluntarios, Majo. All right, let's listen to Majo and. And who, Majo? Ulises. And Ulises, all right. Let's listen to Majo and Ulises. And the other pair, please get ready, all right? Okay, Majo and Ulises. Ulises, Ulises, I'll start. Who wants to Excuse me, Ulises. Uh, Ulises, excuse me. For the how can I get to the airport? Well, the airport is very far away. You can go by taxi or you can drive. Thanks. Oh, I am going to drive, but I need to rent a car. Is there a car rental near here? Sure. It's two blocks down the street. You can go there by foot. Thank you, Lizard, a lot. All right, that's excellent. Uh, you say thanks a lot, Maho. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. All right, thank you, Majo and Ulises. Thank you for your participation. So another pair of volunteers, please. Well, three more pairs. We have Ellen Nielsen and who is your pair, Ellen Nielsen? Claudia. All right, Ellen Nielsen and Claudia, let's listen to them. Okay, go ahead, Claudia. Hola. Usted empieza. Dale, empieza usted si quiere. Okay. Excuse me. How can I, how can I head to the airport? Well, the airport is very far away. You can go by taxi or you can drive. Thanks. I going to drive there, but I need to rent a car. Is there a car rental near here? Sure. It's two blocks down the street. You can go there by foot. Sure, sure. It's two blocks down the street. You can go through it by foot. Okay, thanks a lot. Excellent. You can go there by foot. All right, you can go there by foot. Thank you, Ellen Nielsen and company. Bye. Thank you very much for your participation in Claudia, right? Yes, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, now let's listen to Mayra. Who is your pair, Mayra? Elsie. All right, let's listen to Mayra and Elsie. <laughs> Elsie. Okay. 
Excuse me, how can I get to the airport? Well, the airport is very far away. You can go by taxi or you can drive. Thanks. I'm going to drive, but I need to rent a car. Is there a rental car near here? Sure. It's two blocks down the street. You can go three by foot. Thanks a lot. Okay, thank you. That's excellent. Thank you very much, Mayra and Elsie. Uh, let's listen to the last pair. The last pair, la última pareja, the last pair, please. The last pair of volunteers. Okay, let's listen to Javier. Who is your pair, Javier? Santos. Let's listen to Javier and Santos then. Okay. Go here, Santos. Yes. <clears throat> yes. Dale. You start. Okay. Excuse me. How can I get to the airport? Where? The airport is very far. What? Far away. You can go by taxi or you can drive. Thanks. Oh, I'm going to drive. But I needed to rent a car. Is there a car rental near here? Sure. It's, it's to block down the street. You can go there by foot. Thanks a lot. Okay, thanks a lot. That was great. Thank you for your participation, everybody. Well, I had eight, eight people participating, four pairs, okay? So thank you for your uh, participation. The rest, please go to reactions and give them a reaction. Vamos a dar una reacción a sus compañeros. Go give a reaction to your classmates, okay? So thank you for your uh, participation. Thank you very much. Good. Now listen, uh, I will explain the, the, the next part a little bit quickly because it's not so complicated, all right? So here we have the use of go by. When we talk about transportation, we can use go by. We use go by to specify the means of transportation we use from point A to point B, all right? For example, uh, I go to work by bus, all right? Uh, or I go to, to San Salvador by car, by plane, by foot, okay? So you can say, for example, um, how do you, imagine I ask you, imagine I ask you, how do you go to Metro Centro? Oh, I go by car, you can say, I go by plane, I go by bus, I go by foot, all right? How do you go to, to, to work? For example, how do you go to work? I go by car, or go, I go by bus, I go by foot, I don't know, all right? So I will ask you one question, okay? How do you go to work? Real information, I need real information. How do you go to work? In my case, if you ask me, Bernardo, how do you go to work? In my case, I go to work by bus. And sometimes I go to work by motorcycle, all right? Two means of transportation. What about you? How do you go to work? Tell me, please, digame. How do you go to work? Volunteers, how do you go to work? By bus, by car, by bicycle, by motorcycle, by taxi, by Uber. How do you go to work? Okay, Maho, how do you go to work? I go to go by bus. By bus, excellent. When? I go to go motorcycle. By motorcycle, you say by, by motorcycle. Uh, repeat, please. I go to work by motorcycle. I go to work, I walk to work uh, my motorcycle. Excellent. Who else? Walter? I go to work by car. Excellent.
more volunteers. Okay, Irma, how do you go to work? I go to work my car. By car, by car. Okay, by, you say by, by car. car. By car. By car. Oh, yeah. Mauricio, how do you go to work? I think he's busy, right? All right. Claudia, oh, Mauricio, how do you go oh. to work? Come on, come on, come on. How do you go to work? Yes. By car, by bus, by bicycle? Uh, by car. By car. <laughs> okay, that's excellent. Yes. Uh, Claudia, how do you go to work, Claudia? I buy bus. By bus, all right. You go to work by bus. Okay, that's excellent. Uh, Jessica, how do you go to work? Hazel, how do you go to work? Okay, very good. Uh, well, let's, conti let's continue then. Uh, well, you, you go by different ways, right? Okay, uh, Ellen Nielsen, how do you go to work? I go to work by motorcycle too. By motorcycle, okay. Doris, how do you go to work, Doris? Go to work uh, by car or by bus. By car or by? Bus. bus. By bus. All right, that's perfect. Thank you. Uh, let me see who else. Have you participated in this activity? Maida too? Yeah, everybody yes. did. Yes, Javier? Uh, I go to work uh, the first by car. By car? And then by, by car. And by car, sorry. Uh, the first um, by car and then by transport to work. Okay, by, ah, by, by the, maybe you can say by the car, by the work car, maybe? El carro del trabajo, that's what you want to say? Sí, sí, digamos, en el transporte del trabajo, digamos. Ah, okay, by the car, uh -huh. by, by the job transportation, right? You can say ah, maybe. okay. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you very much. Okay, here you need to say specifically the mean of transportation, right? Okay, thank you very much. Good. Uh, let me pass the attendance quickly. Voy a pasar asistencia, ya se me está olvidando. I will pass the attendance quickly, okay? Aida? Present. Claudia? Present. Daniel? Present. Doris? Present. Ellen Nilsson? Present, teacher. Elsie? Present, teacher. Ir Irma? Present teacher. Irving is sick, I think. Javier? I am here, teacher. Mayra? Present teacher. Milton? Yes, right. He's working, I think. He's in a meeting, I think. Rafael? Santos? Present teacher. Sara? Ulises? Present teacher. Walter? Present. Wendy? I am here. Jessica? Hazel? Mauricio? Majo? Present teacher. Okay. Majo? Present teacher. Carla? Present. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, uh, let's go to the next activity. For the next activity, you will work individually, all right? Van a trabajar de forma individual. You will work individually. At the end of page 45, al final de la página 45, at the end of page 45, you have a little chart. Tienen un pequeño cuadrito. You have a little chart. Uh, so you need to write the name of three different places around your company, all right? For example, I, I don't know, right? I don't know your workplace, all right? But if you if you tell me, Bernardo, uh, write the name of three places around your workplace, I can write, for example, here, uh, Caesar Pizza, Caesar Pizza, right? Uh, Papa Jones, and maybe I can write, uh, let me see here. Um, let me see, let me see another place is- um, Domino's. Dom uh, no, we don't have Domino's here. 
Hotel Avi, Hotel Via San Francisco, or Via San Francisco Hotel, all right? Good. Mean of transportation, how can I go there? For example, uh, Caesar, bicycle. Okay, Caesar Pizza, bicycle, for example, okay? Uh, so the question is, can I go to Caesar Pizza by bicycle? Sería la pregunta, would be the question, right? Second, I said, I don't remember the place I said on the second. Uh, but, but I mentioned to uh, Via San Francisco Hotel. So number two, I can put Via San Francisco Hotel. Mean of transportation, bus. Question, can I go to Via San Francisco Hotel by bus? Y luego la parte de answer, la dejan en blanco. Leave it blank, please. All right? So you need to write the place, the possible mean of transportation, and the equation. Yeah, three things. You can do it on your notebook. Pueden hacerlo en su cuaderno. And leave a space for the answer. Y dejan un espacio para la respuesta. Okay? But don't complete the answer. No completen la respuesta. Don't complete the answer. Okay? Maybe you can say, I don't know. Maybe you can say Papa John's. Place, Papa John's. Mean of transportation, bicycle. Question, can I go to Papa John's by bicycle? All right? Yeah? You got it? ¿Se entiende qué van a hacer? Is it clear what you have to do? Yes, all right. Metro Centro, for example, I don't know. All right, I'm, I'm just giving you ideas. Le estoy dando ideas. Metro Centro. Means of transportation? Car or bus. Question, can I go to Metro Centro by bus or by car? Okay. Three, right? Okay, three places with the three corresponding trans means of transportation and with the three corresponding questions, okay? Si tienen la fotocopia, it's on page 45, okay? Página 45, page 45.
Are you ready? Three places, right? Three places, three means of transportation, and the three questions, okay? Don't complete the answers yet. Las respuestas no las van a completar aún. Don't complete the answers yet, okay? Only the play, the means of transportation, and the equation. That's it. Okay, uh, so when you practice, all right, when you practice, because we are going to go in groups, okay? We are going to go to work in groups. So in the groups, you will select uh, one classmate, all right? And you will ask him this, or you will ask him or ask her these questions, okay? Imagine I practice with Javier and he will try to guess, all right? He will try to guess, el intentará adivinar, he will try to guess, okay? For example, I imagine I say it's about it's about my workplace, okay? The places I will mention are close to my workplace, all right? Los lugares que voy a mencionar están supuestamente cerca de mi lugar de trabajo. So Javier doesn't know my workplace. So uh, Javier, uh, the place is uh, Hotel Via San Francisco, means of transportation, car or bus. So Javier. Uh can I, uh, wait, wait, Javier. I will ask you the question, okay? Te, te haré la pregunta y tú tratas de adivinar. You can say yes or no, all right? So, Javier, okay. can I go to La Villa San Francisco Hotel um, by bicycle? No. No, right? So you will try to no. guess. But listen, but the idea is not to tell my classmate the transportation. Uh, I mean... Yeah, not to tell him that you can go by, by, by car, for example, right? Yeah, or by bicycle, okay? So let, let's do another example, okay? Let's see, Javier, I have Caesar pizza, okay? A uh, mean, mean of transportation can be bicycle, okay? If it's wrong, it's okay. Si está incorrecto, está bien, it's okay. Si pusieron uno a propósito que no era el que, tal vez no podría ser ese medio de transporte, okay? So Caesar pizza, Bicycle, Javier, can I go to Caesar uh, Pizza by bicycle? Uh, no. Yeah, you're right. No, I can't. It's impossible. <laughs> I need to go by car. So you can try to, 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 to change, all right? Pueden intentar cambiarlo si quieren, okay? No necesariamente decir el transporte en el que pueden ir. Pueden decir otra cosa, by foot, for example, all right? Yeah? Para hacerlo más interesante, okay. to make it more, more interesting, okay? Yeah, okay. Oh, another example, imagine I tell Javier, I will mention another place and the place I will mention is, mm, let me think, let me think. Um, ah, Rock Burger. There is a place in, in, near my workplace that is called uh, Rock Burger. Okay, Rock Burger. Okay, place Rock Burger. Mean of transportation by foot. So let's see, Javier, let's see if you guess. Vamos a ver si adivina. Javier, can I go to Rock, Bar Bar Rock Burger by foot? What do you think? Uh, by... By foot. Foot. Ah, okay. Um, so, no. Uh, <laughs> no. No. <laughs> all right yeah yeah you can, you can no yeah idea. no no definitely all right so the the answer is no right no the answer is no it's impossible all right good uh now let, let me let, let me see I, I will explain it again all right maybe you have the transportation the correct transportation all right tal vez ya tienen el transporte correcto que necesitan okay pero pueden cambiar un poquito para hacerlo más interesante. O si no, ya se va a saber, le van a decir, yes, yes, no, because you are saying the transportation. Maybe you can change it a little bit to practice, okay? Pueden cambiarlo un poquito para practicar. You can change it a little bit to practice, okay? Si ya saben que pueden ir en carro, pónganle a pie o en motocicleta. Tal vez no pueden ir en motocicleta para que sus compañeros adivinen. So your classmates try to guess, okay? Clear? ¿Estamos claros? Is it clear? 
This is to make it more interesting, okay? Este es para hacerlo un poquito más interesante. To make it a little bit more interesting, okay? Is it clear? Yes, no? Yes. Okay, so uh, this time we will practice in bigger groups. Ustedes deciden cómo hacerlo. You decide how to do it. El grupo va a ser un poquito grande. Si gustan, el Edilson que les pregunte a todos, can ask everybody and they will try to guess, all right? Y todos intentan adivinar and everybody try to guess, all right? And then Javier can ask all the group. Puede, puede preguntarle a todo el grupo, okay? And they will try to guess. Y que intenten adivinar. So they try to guess, yes or no, okay? Yeah? Okay, I will give you a round. So, cuando Javier termine, que pregunte otro del equipo y así, a modo de que todos lo hagan, okay? Yeah? So, I will give you around seven minutes for this activity, okay? So, let's go and practice. For this activity, we will have bigger groups. Vamos a tener grupos un poquito más grandes, okay? So, let's go and practice. Okay. This meeting is being recorded. Okay. Eh, por ejemplo, por ejemplo, yo le puse <coughs> la libertad, o sea, la playa, la libertad, pero solo, solo la libertad. <coughs> can, can I you, can I go to la libertad by car? Y usted me va a decir sí o no. Okay. Carro. Okay. <coughs> okay. Entonces. Bueno. Eh, comienzo yo. Eh, no sé si okay. Mauricio está por ahí. Pues no se ve. Okay. Yes. Ok. Eh, estamos ahí en la, en la sintonía, Mauricio. Sí, un poco. Un poco. Okay. ok. Bueno, entonces. Yo le puse los lugares, place, quality hotel, airport, and the corner restaurant. Restaurant. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Entonces, la pregunta es, ¿can I go to Quality Hotel by car? Santos? Uh, yes, yes. By car, are you sure? Yes, I, yes, by car. Sorry. Okay. 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 Airport. Okay. You, can, you can ask Mauricio what he thinks. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah. That's true. Mauricio, what do you think about it? ¿Cómo fue? Perdón, es que tengo mala conexión. Eh, estábamos... Eh, eh. Teacher. Hola, teacher. Hello. Hola, teacher. Hello. Aquí tenemos... Eh, los tres tenemos una duda. What is your doubt? Cómo, cómo hacer, eh, ¿Cuál pregunta es la que vamos a formular para, para poder indicar los lugares? Uh, the, question, the question that is the on question. the... Uh, the question that is on the little chart. The question is, can I go to? For example, what uh, place do you have, Elsie? What place do you have? Metro Centro. So you can say, what is the transportation? Um, bus or car. Okay, so, so your question has to be, can I go to Metro Centro by car or by bus? And they will try to guess. Yeah, you're going to try to dinner. Oh, yes, or, or no. All right, yes or no. Yeah. Ah, okay. Más de una opción, sorry. That's right. No, no, I mean... When you ask a question, you give only one option. For example, you can ask them, puede, puede preguntarles, uh, can I go to Metro Centro by foot? De mi trabajo, from work, right? De su trabajo, from your work. And we don't know where you work. I don't know where you work. Okay, yo no sé dónde trabaja usted, así que ellos tratarán de adivinar si se puede o no se puede. Yeah, if it's possible or if it's not possible. Okay? Uh, okay. Okay, teacher. Entendido. Entonces, sí, sería... Entendido. Yeah, okay, perfect. Comprendimos ya. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. No problem, continue. Thanks. Okay. okay. Um... Vaya, entonces, eso, eso sería, can I go to? Teacher. Tell me. Pero yo no, yo no tengo que decirle a ellos este, el lugar ni el medio de transporte. Yes, yes, you have, yeah, I mean, supposedly uh, you are trying to confuse them, right? So you can, maybe you have the right transportation on your notes. Tal vez en sus notas tienen el medio de transporte correcto, pero pueden cambiarlo. You can change it, all right? For them to guess, para que ellos adivinen. Okay? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, you can say, imagine you have car, but you know that it's impossible to go by car. Mm -hmm. uh, or bus, I don't know. All right, so you say another transportation. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Entonces, voy a preguntar yo, muchachas. Okay, Lisa. Can okay. I go to Can I go to Multiplaza by train? <laughs> Impossible. <laughs> <laughs> En el tren del Pacífico. Ah, bueno. ah, ya luego. All right, continue. Okay. Can I go to... Can I go to Planet de Rendero by helicopter? Um, eh, posible, eh, posible. Por ahí... Ay. Okay, otro workplace, otro. Otro. Usted, Doris. Mango is. Sería. Next to the. To the central pool. Can you go to Centro Apulo by motorcycle? Uh, I go. <laughs> 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 
Solo Wendy. <risa> Solo Wendy. <risa> Mis planes es quiero ir a, a los tres túneles de la libertad, quiero ir. Ay, no, qué feo. No, <risa> mucho cuidado <risa> que esa carretera es tremenda. Ay, donde el Peter voy a dar en moto. <risa> This, this place this place is very good uh, to, to, to come by motorcycle because we don't have so many cars. No hay muchos carros. We don't have so many cars. Yes. Puede moto. Yes. I actually I, ha I have one. I have a motorcycle because in my wow. place uh, commonly I, 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 I go out or I go to places by motorcycle here near my place. But when I go far, when I go farther, like San Miguel, for example, I go by car. Okay. It's better. In a carro también. Yeah, thanks God. Mirelo, pues. Me voy a comprar una moto entonces en la Curazao. It's cheaper. It's cheaper. And, and the, the, the problem is that sometimes here in, in my town, I go to places and the streets are really bad. So, I mean, it's better to go by motorcycle to those places. Yeah. Yeah, because... No se desespera cuando va en el carro. Sorry? No se desespera cuando va en el carro y hay tráfico. Uh, actually, when I... It's, for me, it's the same, all right? With the motorcycle and with the car, it's the same because I drive the same. Manejo exactamente lo mismo en ambas cosas. Mm. Si, let's say, if there is a space... I don't take over. Si hay un espacio que yo siento que puede ser un poquito peligroso, no, no rebaso por lados o entre líneas de carros, no. Siempre voy atrás del vehículo. So I respect anyways. If I am in a car, I do, I respect. If I am in a motorcycle, I respect. So I follow the yo same rules. En medio de los carros. <laughs> I don't do that. I don't do that. The hard traffic is in San Salvador. Yeah, it's different. It's very different. It's horrible. In, in <laughs> my case, no hay tráfico. Yes, in my case, not even in San Miguel. I don't I don't go by motorcycle to San Miguel. <laughs> not even in San Miguel. Imagine San Salvador. Mm -mm. No, thank you. <laughs> and you go to San Miguel uh, a dar clases? No. Sometimes no. to um, do things. To do things, okay. yeah. Just to... Uh, to visit some relatives sometimes. The, the problem is that I live in Morazan, but I am from San Miguel. I, ah. yeah, I was born in San Miguel. <laughs> you more class uh, uh, in, in, uh, online or only one? No, only this, only this. Okay. And I have, and I have, and I give classes in the morning too. Uh, presencial. Yes, that's right. At a public school. I work in a public school. Okay. Yeah. All go right, finish. San Miguel. Please. Sorry? I go to, San Miguel. I go to uh, San Miguel uh, only a stadium. Yeah, to watch the <laughs> Aguilita. Barraza. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Forever. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. I see your picture. <laughs> okay, continue. So, did you finish? <laughs> Es que estamos, estamos preguntando, por ejemplo, yo les digo, pero como no conocen el lugar donde yo trabajo, y les digo, eh, lugares que están cerca de mi trabajo, digamos, Puerto Marisco. Ok. The idea is that they guess. La idea es que ellas adivinen. The idea is that they guess. Yes or no, all right? That's the idea. Yo le pregunto, can you? Yes. Can I? Can okay. I? You say, can I? Can I Pero go to a restaurant by car for it to, and you say the name of the restaurant? La idea es que ellas adivinen para hacerlo más interesante, just to make it more interesting, okay? Pero cuando yo le digo can I, can I go, es como que yo me estoy preguntando. No, le estoy preguntando a ella si yo puedo ir ahí en carro o en ah. bicicleta. Can I go to Metro Centro by car, for example? Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. Ah, pues... Another Wendy, another place around me. Um, mm. 
No. I go to Walmart, eh, Pizza Hub, eh, Mr. Dono. Ay, sí, Super Mall. Eh, Mega Paca. <laughs> ah, ok. Sí. Uh -huh. Mall, For me, can I go to Curacao by car? De Morosaico. <laughs> ah, ok. <laughs> Only motorcycle. All motorcycle. <laughs> Only. <laughs> Thank you. This meeting is being recorded. Okay, uh, well, thank you very much for taking this space to practice. Okay, um, just in, in simple words, in simple words, um, when you want to make sure, okay, uh, about the transportation you can use or about a place, you can ask the question uh, we have, right? So for example, can I go to, for example, can I go to Metro Centro by car? So we use this question, right? just to confirm information, para confirmar información, okay? Or can I go to, to your house? You can say to your house. Can I go to your house by bicycle? Or can I go to La Pizza Hut by, by food, for example? Okay, it's to confirm in information, okay? Para confirmar información, it's to confirm information, okay? Well, thank you very much for taking this time to practice. And for the next part, uh, I want you to pay attention carefully to this, all right? Quiero que aquí sí estemos muy atentos a esto. Incluso los que están con cámara apagada, eh, quiero que estén atentos a esto, por favor. I want you to be paying attention to this, all right? Quiero que estén prestando mucha atención a eso que les voy a explicar en este momento. So listen, uh, here we have two cases, all right? Case number one is the use of get. Okay, here. And case number two is the use of go to talk about directions okay so let's see look at this question here how can i get to the trade center how can i get to the trade center how do you say this sentence in spanish how do you say this sentence in spanish how can i get to the trade center ¿Cómo puedes llegar al, al centro? Uh, ¿cómo puedo llegar al centro de negocios how can i get to the trade center Check the second one. La segunda. I'm going to rent a car as soon as I get to Panama. How do you say this sentence in Spanish? Voy a rentar un vehículo tan pronto como llegue a Panama. Exactly. Uh, voy a rentar un vehículo tan pronto como llegue a Panama. Very good. So let's see the last example. El último ejemplo. I usually get to the office at 6.30 a.m. How do you say this in Spanish? Normalmente llego a la oficina a las seis y media. Exactly, all right. So get, the meaning of get is for arrival. And in this case, the intention of using get or the meaning of get is, in Spanish, the meaning of get is llegar. El significado de get aquí es llegar. Bernardo, pero el get quiere decir otra cosa. El get quiere decir obtener o conseguir. It's right. But in this context, get is llegar. All right? So have this in mind, please. Mantengan eso en mente. Have this in mind. All right. So now we study the use of get. Now let's study the use of go. All right? Let's study the use of go. Check, check question number one. How do you go to work? How do you say this in Spanish? How do you go to work? ¿Cómo vas al trabajo? ¿Cómo vas al trabajo? So it's, a, it's about the transportation, right? And then, and then you can say, I go to work by bus, by bicycle, by motorcycle, by foot, all right? Question number, I mean, sentence number two. I'm going to go to the conference center after I check in. How do you say this in Spanish? Voy a ir al centro de conferencias después de la entrada. Después de la entrada. Registrarme. Puede registrarme. That's right. After I check in. Very good. And the last one. I go home around 7 p.m. 
What is this? Me voy a casa. Me voy a casa. Ajá, me voy a casa. Alrededor de, de las 7. Alrededor de las 7. So, in this case, go is about motion from point A to point B, all right? Es movimiento del punto A al punto B. For example, from work to my house, yeah? So, in conclusion, get is arrive. Go is ir, of course, okay? Get, llegar, go, ir. So, we have a difference between get and go, all right? So, do you have any question about this? Yeah. No, I think it's easy, yeah. right? Yeah, tell me, Walter. ¿Por qué no se dice, how can I arrive to Charlotte Center? It's possible to say it. It's possible, Walter. Okay. You can say arrive, but it's, I mean, the, the, the material explains the use of get because this is very common when talking about directions. Okay. Get is very common in the United States, even get is very common okay, when talking about directions. That's why the material emphasizes the use of get, okay? That's the reason. So any other question? No? So get is arrive and go is motion or movement from point A to point B, all right? So no questions? No hay preguntas, no questions? No? Okay. Now, we have these sentences, all right? The idea is to, to complete the sentences using, using either get or go. Number one, we're going to buy a charger when we get to the airport, okay? Now, please try to complete the others. Take a moment and try to complete the other sentences individually, individualmente. Don't tell me the answers, just try to complete, okay? No me digan las respuestas ahorita, solo traten de completar, just try to complete. Mientras van completando, le voy a pasar asistencia, ¿ok? I will pass you the attendance. O mejor se las paso cuando termine. I better pass it when you finish. And we check.
Uh, in one minute, we check, all right? In one minute, we, we check. Okay, uh, let's see. Well, sentence number one is, we are going to buy a charger when we get to the airport. Number two, how, will, how would it be? Como quedaría? Como sería? Number two. Alex, Sophie, how do you? What can we use? ¿Qué podemos usar? Get or go? Number two. Sorry? Go, go, that's right. So, number two, we use go. Okay. Go. Sophie, how do you go to work? Sophie, by car. Okay. Go to work. Exactly. Number three, the trainer is going to go or get? Get. 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 Get or go? Get. 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 Does everybody agree? Yeah. Todos están de acuerdo con get? It could be go too, but we can use get. Uh, the trainer is going to get to the production plan after the meeting. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. I well. I feel it's go because remember, it's movement from point A to point B, all right? Es moverse de punto A al punto B y aún no se ha movido, right? So he needs to move from the meeting to the plant, okay, to the production plant. So for me, in my case, I would say it's go, all right? That's what I think. But I don't know if you have a reason to say that it's get. Yeah, I think that. I think uh, that is get because uh, get get it mean it mean llegar llegar and, all right and the so, training now now let's see the sentence in Spanish using llegar okay el okay. capacitador va a llegar a la planta de producción después de la reunión o el producción el 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 perdón el capacitador se va a ir Para la, plant, para la planta de producción después de la reunión. So, what, what sounds yes. better? ¿Qué suena mejor? What sounds better? The second one. The second one. Se va a ir, ¿verdad? Yes. So, I yes. would say it's go. All right? Well, that's okay. my opinion, right? Yeah, okay. yeah. Okay, let's see number four. Excuse me, how can I... Get. Get. Get, okay, I would say get. get. In this case, yes, right? Aquí sí, get. ¿Cómo puedo llegar a la estación? All right? How can I get to the bus station? Number five, the bank is really near. You can? Go. Go, go by foot, right? Go by, remember. Number six, I'm going to call you when I? Get. 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 Aquí sí, all right? Te voy a llamar cuando llegue al hotel. I'm going to call you when I get to the? Hotel, all right, very good. So th those will be the answers, okay? Thank you very much for your help. Good, um, le voy a pasar asistencia, pero no se me vayan a salir porque necesito darles una información, okay? Please, por, así que por favor no se vayan a salir. Aida? Ya se salió alguien hablando de salirse, oh my goodness. Okay, Aida? Claudia? Present. Okay. Anyways. Okay, give me a minute. I, I don't I don't find a pain here. Okay. Um 
She's a present, right, Daniel? Present. Doris? Present. Ellen Nielsen? Present, teacher. Elsie? Present, teacher. Irma? Present, teacher. All right. Irving? Uh, Javier? Present, teacher. Mayra? Milton? Present, teacher. Okay, Milton? Rafa is having problems, I think. Santos? Present, teacher. Sara? Ulises? Walter? Present. Wendy? William here. Jessica? Present teacher. Hazel? Hazel? Ya no está Hazel. No, no, right. Mauricio? Present teacher. Majo? Present teacher. Hey, Carla? I am here. Vaya, um, no se me salgan todavía, por favor. Eh, Mauricio, Majo, Carla y Hazel, que no está conectada, me escriben un mensajito. Necesito darles una información, ¿ok? Mauricio, Majo, en Carla. Me escriben un mensajito al chat de WhatsApp porque necesito darles una información. Ok, por favor, please. Me dicen, hola, hola teacher, teacher, soy, soy Majo. Studio, hola, teacher, soy Carla. Al, sí, a mi WhatsApp. Al, al mío, al mío. Okay. Para darles alguna información que necesito darles a ustedes cuatro precisamente. Ok, a Carla, a Majo, a Mauricio y a Heise, pero Heise ya se desconectó. Eh, vaya, para mañana, ya saben todos que tenemos la encuesta de satisfacción, así que por ahí les llegó un correo o un WhatsApp. El módulo anterior tuvimos un inconveniente de que habían personas que solo lo tenían en WhatsApp y no podían copiar información específica, ¿ok? Porque les llega un solo mensaje. Y cuando hacemos la encuesta de satisfacción necesitamos copiar partes específicas de ese WhatsApp. Así que la recomendación para mañana es que antes de la clase tengan, si se los mandaron en correo electrónico, que tengan abierto el correo que les mandaron. Y si se los mandaron en WhatsApp, que... Copien esa información y la tengan en un documento aparte, ¿ok? Que puedan copiar informas, parte de ese mensaje, no todo el mensaje, porque necesitan parte de ese mensaje. Creo que con Santos me parece que fue que se dio el inconveniente, ¿verdad, Santos? El módulo anterior, ¿me equivoco? Yes, yes, yes. Teacher. Ajá, pa, pa, para ese módulo entonces tengamos copiado el eh, la información para solo estar copiando partecitas específicas, ¿ok? Y si lo hacen de una computadora, si hay acceso a una computadora, bueno, ahora sí tenemos hijos, los hipotes tienen computadora, ¿verdad? Podemos tomar la computadora de los hipotes al menos para, para hacer eso, ¿ok? Y los que no, pues, si no se puede, al menos traten de tener esa información lista para estar pegando partecitas de ese mensaje, ¿ok? Para que estemos listos para la encuesta el día de mañana. Recordemos que la encuesta es el último requisito o el tercer requisito para poder pasar el módulo, ¿ok? Son tres requisitos. Un mínimo de 80% en las notas, un mínimo de 80% en la asistencia y hacer la encuesta de satisfacción son los tres requisitos para aprobar el módulo. Así que espero que me hayan tocado la encuesta y la vamos a realizar el día de mañana. ¿Ok? ¿Alguna pregunta? ¿Any question? No. Mañana terminamos módulo. Yo sé que algunos están bastante cansados ahorita. Se les nota el cansancio. Ok, I, I can see you. Um, ok, so if you have no questions, si no hay preguntas, entonces nos detenemos acá. And I see you tomorrow. No, no questions? No, right. No. Okay. Eh, no, eh, sí. Entonces, la, lo que le vamos a escribir a usted, el mensajito, uh, después de la clase. O Pueden hacerlo ahorita de... para yo mandarles la información. Le voy a mandar un audio. Ah, ok. Ok. Please, Thank por you. favor. Ajá. Sí, Carla, de hecho, ya me mandó el mensaje. Ya lo voy a revisar ahorita. I will check in a moment. Ok. Ok. Okay, everyone, thank you very much for connecting today. See you tomorrow. No puede faltar nadie mañana porque hacemos la encuesta. Okay, so see you tomorrow. Goodbye, good night, and take care. Bye. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.